up guys, Sean back, and we got another catfish. I used to do these a while ago. I haven't done them in, I don't know, probably a few months. But I kind of like them because like they're funny and sad at the same time. And that's kind of a hard thing to do. So uh, let's check this one out. Victim can't believe his internet girlfriend is a romance scammer. Looks like a kind of elderly dude. So that's typically who these people target because they're scumbags. They want your social security like it's terrible but the world is not a very nice place to a lot of people so here we go she's beautiful she's light-skinned long hair like a brown color she's beautiful man she's also jennifer gardner jesus we're gonna get you some clarity we're gonna look into this for you but one thing you can't send her any money why not Nice eyebrows, though. I mean, I've been doing it. So it wouldn't affect... I'm just saying it wouldn't affect me like that. I can't... Okay, so she's military. So basically, she's the boogie-woogie bugle girl you want to give her the D. That's what's happening here. Send you actual pictures that I take right now. I can't uh, FaceTime you things I can't do in the military because of our security level. You're catfishing too, buddy. Did you see that photo of you? That is not current. What's up, Seekers? Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. Uh, in December, we're supposed to meet. There's no other setback. Can't be. The military doesn't do that. They don't hold you somewhere for three years and don't let you go home wouldn't that be a red flag because they're gonna get leave all that dude you are setting yourself up for major failure in today's episode we help a man named mike who finds himself deeply enchanted by a woman he met digitally who goes by the name of mary their connection Jennifer unfolds Gardner. after mike receives an unexpected text from mary who confesses to mistaking his number for someone else's Little did he know that this seemingly insignificant encounter would pave the way to an online relationship. Bro, I got this same message the other day. You could see the conversation on my Instagram. If you look, I posted it. It's friggin' hilarious. But when she asked for a photo of me, I sent back this like prison inmate mugshot. And I don't know, his face is tattooed to hell. I don't know if any of those tattoos are like hateful or anything. So don't come for me. I I'm just going to put that disclaimer here. But he's a crazy dude. A turning point arises as Mike anticipates a substantial sum of money coming his way and contemplates sharing his newfound wealth with his beloved Mary. However, before taking this step, he seeks our assistance to confirm she is who she claims to be. It's also pretty funny that he sent the bite in the lip photo, like he's going in on this one. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your yeah. comment Do and that like to social could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. I grew up in a very religious family, so it was real strict. Grew up uh, with my with my grandparents. I never wanted to be looked upon as somebody like a loser. I always kind of wanted to be a little bit better than that nobody just feels sorry for me or anything like that so it was a standard that i tried to hope try, that i held for myself i'm the kind of guy that I, I respect that i actually like people who don't play the victim there's too many people on the internet that are just constant constantly the victims with like gofundme stuff like that let's say boogie whatever he loves to play the victim i work man i don't i, I work every day I put in 10 to 12 hours a day. I try to enjoy what I do. Like I get up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm out by five. I work from five, because I like driving during the day versus night. I work from five to five. Sometimes five to six, 12 hours. Respectable. Seven days a week. Very respectable. The last relationship I was in, I was in it for quite some time, over 10 years. And this one person, was actually sort of mean to me, a narcissist, sort of a sociopath, controlled me, abused me physically as well as, um... I'm gonna need to talk to her so she can kind of refute these claims. 
I, I don't know. It, it could have happened. It could have went down like that. It's just I got to hear both sides before I make any snap judgment. That's typically how I deal with like relationship drama. You got you got to let me hear both sides before I know the truth, like right down the middle somewhere. Verbally. But I, I kind of felt that the relationship was over because I was being put out of my own home. But I needed somebody that I needed to reach out to. I really did because I felt like I wanted to scream. And a lot of that I had to um, keep within me. It could be anything. TV, it could be another woman around us. The woman could look a certain way. She would start in on me. Jealous people will destroy a relationship pretty fast, but I don't know. Typically, I, don't, I think kind of jealousy can be cute, but when it goes over the top, like, come on, that's not enough's enough, really, right? I know you were looking at her. I know this. I know that. I know, you know, I always had to defend myself. Damn right I look. Even before a situation would come up, she would create a situation. So I always had to be on defense with myself which I did not like. It made me feel very uncomfortable because I felt like I was always better than that. And I didn't need to be in a situation like that. I was at the tail end of that relationship and this 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 person came. I don't know, defending yourself does get annoying pretty quick. So maybe she was a little unbearable. Came in out of nowhere through my texting. I like the photo. So I replied and I asked, I said, well, who is this? And she thought. I like that photo, my boy. You about 20 years younger in that sucker. I thought I was somebody else and I wasn't. And I, that's how we started the conversation. She told me her name was Mary. She was very uh, comforting, very, very supportive. She's younger. She was 32. She's beautiful. She's light skinned. Long hair. Like a brown color. She's beautiful. She's pretty. I can, I, I'm not going to deny that fact. She's pretty, but she's also not going to slide on the like wrong number. Sorry. By the way, do you want to do the hokey pokey and turn me like no, turn me all around like no, it's not going to happen like that on me man she's a beautiful woman puerto rican beautiful hair beautiful skin beautiful pictures in the midst of mike's relationship he received a random text from a person that would help him through his rough relationship and change his life i was honest with her i told her i was in an unhappy relationship we sleep in separate rooms we have no interlinkings we have nothing we were just in okay that's done so then if if that was the case uh probably just looking for anybody that'll show him any form of like attention like that and something and i needed to get out and so Are she was toxic? comforting with that she was like listen just when she comes at you or argues at you don't say anything i was still in that home when we started talking we were sleeping in separate rooms and i was talking to this person every day comforting them i just got a wild mental image of what he was doing in his own bedroom with these text messages me because i was lonely i didn't i um uh, was unhappy and uh she was just the perfect person to talk to at that time the advice that you would give me is to be quiet don't be in a fighting mood with her because you're going to be leaving out of there um so while you're there just go in your room be quiet and i typically say you're better off just walking away from those kinds of arguments try to be to yourself very supportive her astrology sign and my astrology sign are probably the one most compatible things out there because we're both emotional people 
uh, I'm sensitive, she's sensitive. That really brought us together because we understood each other. I just went right in. I don't know what signs go together. I'm a Pisces, my girl's a Libra. I don't know if that works. It could be terrible, but whatever. Into it. She was just, everything was just perfect. We, we opened up the day and we closed the day. Throughout the day, we would talk just what's happening, how wonderful we felt talking to each other and how glad we were to meet each other. I really, I really feel strongly about you. I mean, I'm becoming more and more into you. I mean, it was those type of conversations. The more Mike... Okay, so he's smitten. I, I it probably wouldn't have took much to get him to this point in the relationship he's in. Would text Mary the further he grew apart from his current girlfriend of 10 years. He felt he needed to make a decision. Because my business was my business. We weren't married. We were just in a relationship. She never found out that I was online talking to someone. I kept giving her chances because that was just the type of person I am. Although I wasn't happy, I kept giving her chances. And then it became a situation to where I couldn't do it anymore. Can't I mean, do it. Even, with, even when I was with her a long time, I took care of her. I did everything for her. And so since I found this beautiful soul, I want to take care of her. And I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Most men find some sense of satisfaction in being able to provide for their significant other, just typically. I want to love her and be the things that she wants me to be and love her completely. Be everything. Oh, God. It just gradually, gradually just got to the point to where she's my heart. We call each other everything from honey to, to baby to baby boo, everything. Baby boo? What is this, a middle school? Honey, baby, sweetie, my love, everything, man. Oh, she's that handsome. I, w I would listen to her, and we never really argued or anything, ever. The first time she told me she loved me was about a month into us talking. But it wasn't like a love. It was, you know, a love where it had developed into a nice feeling. So she didn't just come out and just say, I love you. She, it was just something. I mean, to be fair, as far as romance scams go, this one's pretty advanced. Because typically they just give you like the one, two words very generic responses they're actually taking the time to make a serious like kind of conversation back and forth it looks like something that after talking like we talked it was something that she said she felt and for me it was just what i needed because i was yearning that yearning something up until this point mike would do anything for mary but the situation got complicated. It's time for my favorite part where he tells you that Mary is not Mary. It's some Nigerian guy that could tickle your tonsils. When she claimed she was being deployed. She's in the military. She told me she was in Afghanistan. But, you know, they sent them out on their, their work. And the military is a stickler behind certain things, which I found out that they really truly are. Uh, but also, we're not in Afghanistan anymore. Do's and don'ts of the military. I can't send you actual pictures that I take right now. I can't uh, FaceTime you. Things I can't do in the military because of our security level. A few times we were supposed to get together, but that didn't happen because of the military prolonging the stay and whatnot i would be oh my, i don't know why people do it it may be loneliness but if you haven't seen someone why would you give them money that will never make sense to me she really didn't ask me for money it was more like we were discussing some of what? the things that she had to do with taking care of 
her relatives and some of the things that she had to pay. So I offered to help her. I did. Okay, so it makes you say, like, I love you, I love you too, and then starts complaining about their finances, hoping you'll swoop in, save them, whatever. Tale oldest time. All I wanted to do was help her. I didn't want her to struggle. I didn't want her to worry, and I still don't. I don't want her to worry about a thing. I want her to... Help her or hump her? Which one? To serve her time out and... Could be both. I'll take care of her. She would thank me with all her heart. Thank you for everything you do for me. I really love you. Thank you for what you do for me. Thank you. Every day she would always thank me. She would thank me and thank me and tell me how proud she is and tell me how she knows that I love her and she loves me. It was those type of things that grab. I need to find this guy's phone number because I'm going to have the wrong, wrong number and beat Jennifer and then I'm going to get paid too. That make me gravitate to her because those are the things I hadn't heard or hadn't felt. She says, we're one. Pretty much, just then you. I would send 50 to $200 a day. 50 to a day, my That's going to stack up. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Is her smile that damn good? Really? Today, 200 tomorrow, 70 today, next day, 50, you know, never a certain amount. Whatever I, I could send to her to help her. I work, and so I have my account set up to my job, and so they deposit the money, so I can just send it right over to her, what I want to send. Mike works in transportation. He's extremely reliable. He takes pride in making the people in his community feel comfortable and taken care of when they request a ride from him. I, I, I. Okay, so like Uber, Lyft, ride sharing. You're making enough to send $200 that you can really get paid like that from Uber? Damn. I take pride in my job. You know, I did 26,000 rides for, for Uber. So man, my experiences, man, I have so many. I had a woman in my car yesterday. She was so delightful. I get joy out of this most of the time. So why didn't you try to riz her up instead of the random person with the wrong number? I provide a nice ride. I provide a, a ride where, you know, you can be yourself. I mean, you know, and, and if we want to talk, we can talk. Most of the time I talk about, you know, I like to talk. So it's whatever the mood is. I don't know what people go through throughout the day. So I don't judge a person by what I feel. Because most of the time you don't know. I I'd say... Nine That's a decent quality. I he doesn't seem like a totally bad guy at this point. I did misguided, for sure. 98, 99% of the time, you don't know. But I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a giving guy. And I truly care... If, if, if somebody's in my car and they're going through stuff, I, I'm there for them in terms of, 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 of having a conversation. To, to just be open to what people have to say and be kind of understanding. Since Mary has claimed she was deployed to Afghanistan, Mike has essentially been funding her life. He sends her money daily. Uh, I would send her, it wouldn't be in a bulk sum. It would be like a little bit every day or every other day, you know, 200 Fifty dollars a day, two hundred bucks. What? That's gonna be fifteen hundred to what? Six thousand a month? Bucks. I can make two hundred dollars a day, sometimes three hundred. So I send her a portion of that every day. She doesn't have to ask me. I just wow. do it. And when I haven't been able to do it, you know, we talked about it, but it's me initiating it. So if I make a hold the phone, buddy. She's not a nit. He's just doing it out of the kindness of his heart. That's insane. At least let the man ask you for money first. 150, I'll send her 75. Every day it adds up. We've been together over two years. 1500 to $2,000 a month. So it might be more than that. I'm just using 30,000 as a ballpark. Might be 60. No. Let's say 40. It's almost like I pay her rent. 
because she says she's going to get her money after she gets out and we can share that. Oh, we're going to share something, all right. And I tell her, I won't need to really share that with you. You can just have that as your play money because... Probably a urinal. What I'm getting, I'll be able to take care of you the rest of your life. So I'm coming into a lot, a lot of money. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, if somebody's asking you for Bitcoin, you got to immediately know off rip. It's this game. Very, very large sum of money. Mary knows this. This is going to happen, I say, within days. And I want to share that with Mary. Mike is receiving a large amount of money from a settlement soon. He even plans on sharing a portion of it with Mary. This would help her get home and get rid of all the debt he has from sending her money every day. Bro, I can't believe that your first thought is to send someone you've never met money. Like, you get big money, like, I'm going to give you half. F that noise, that's my money. It's coming back to kind of bite me a little bit because I have taxes and... We sent through Cash App and Bitcoin, and oh, so yeah. now you have to ha be accountable for that. There's a new tax law through Cash App. I think it's something like if you receive more than 500, which is kind of crazy because it's just going to f people that are like getting paid through Cash App at like a garage sale. They're going to tax that now. Thank God I'm getting what I'm getting because I can pay all my ta everything off. I'll be able to pay everything off. The blessing that I I'm getting. I knew eventually it would come through. So I knew if she was with me, I would be able to take care of her and still be able to take her. She even sent me some documents to say she I'm her fiance. So I we're getting married. This is moving quick, buddy. This is too fast for me. I gave up my information. It was a document that was told to me that we had to submit uh, to show that I was her fiance. I have told my family about Mary. Yes, I told them that I'm in love with this person. I wanna be with this person, period. Um, and that they wouldn't tell me anything. They just make comments about hide your meter. Okay, watch out for so the internet. I, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, you're good. Like I, I feel like he should know better. Like know he's getting got. But a lot of these people just are like a little more on the elderly side. Like I give them a pass, not being that good with technology and stuff. But this one, you should be able to tell off rip. Uh, in December, we're supposed to meet. There's no other setback. Can't be. The military doesn't do that. They don't hold you somewhere for three years and don't let you go home. Um, I don't want to believe that. That she's scamming me. She is? No. Or he I is? I don't believe that. I believe that she is who she is. She is, but it would she's break not who you're heart. talking to. It would break my heart. I believe her. I believe her. Totally believe everything she tells me. Everything. Well, Seekers, the next day, our team got together to come up with a game plan. Mike was deeply involved with Mary. He was missing all of the obvious red flags. David and I sat down with Mike for the first time to gather more details. We're really interested. There's definitely enough red flags to at least not send more money at this point. Interested to hear more about your story, and we really want to help you out. We want to try to help you out. Okay, thank you. I have to hear about this girl. Man. Well. She's I'm a in love with her. Girl. We've been doing this a long time, a couple of years over, and we've made all these plans. Our conversations are like a relationship, man. It's it's everything. We talk mm -hmm. about everything. And how often? Do you I 
wouldn't call that everything. I actually might get cursed out if I send text messages, messages that short. You guys talk. Every day. We you watched your video back where you're breaking down your story and you just seem so sure about her being real. I guess I need confirmation. I mean, we have a few more months before this should come to fruition, but I thought it was going to come to fruition before, um, and it didn't three times. I'm doing this to find out for me, and if I could just somehow be able to keep this to me, which I don't know. Um, it's just kind of dangling the carrot, making him think there's something there, but... If they've canceled three times, like, get a clue, man, honestly. To bear not seeing her this time would, would really hurt me. If she's not who she says she is, how can we have a relationship? Yeah, 100%. Because if she's not who she says she is and she happens to be somebody else that's over somewhere, but that can't really get here to me, I think you're much more likely to get Bob Marley than Jennifer Gardner. I'm just saying. You know, there, there there isn't nothing. We're gonna get you some clarity. We're gonna look into this for you. But one thing, you can't send her any money. Why not? It just, it doesn't make sense. That's what I've been doing. So it's not like I'm sending a lot. I, I, it, it. But 50 bucks a day is still $1,500 a month. And if you've been right. talking for two years, I mean, that's like close to $30,000. Yeah, I, I've been doing that. Now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and by the way, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just saying, Mike, I, give us a week. I mean, I've been doing it. So it wouldn't affect, really. I'm just saying it wouldn't affect me like that. Look, you're a grown man. Look at him, he's so fed up. Like these guys are super nice guys. Like you could just tell, they seem like nice guys at least. And he is just so fed up with this guy already. And they've been on what this phone call what one whole minute you make your own decisions i'm just giving you ad the advice that we give all of our clients i know i know you guys are um so if i did send this money every day or every other day or whatever what would that do mike it doesn't look good like you haven't met her in person you haven't you haven't talked to her on the phone I know all that. you haven't i know all that it's just not good to send keep sending her money until we can give you clarity but what i'm Bro, if it's not going to make a difference, right? It's not going to make a difference if you wait till the... Just tell them, I'll send you a lump sum at the end of the week instead of daily money. If that, if that's the argument you're going with, just stop the daily thing for now, at least. I'm saying is, would that... If I still, if I sent her this little money, would that affect anything? It's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect Drew. It's but, gonna hurt me. you know, like you came to us for a reason. You came to us because something in the yeah. back of your mind is telling you your spidey sense is, is kicking off right now. And it's like, hey, Mike, something's going on here. Based on what you're telling us, the advice, and we deal with hun literally hundreds of thousands of people a year come to us. Yeah. And so. I think a little more than his spidey sense is tingling. So I'm just trying to help you out in the end of the day, Mike, if you want to still send her money, send her money, but I personally don't think you should do it. My, my colleague here, Drew agrees with me, but in the end of the day, it's really, it's really up to you. I've said her way too much to let 250 bucks or $200 affect anything. All right. So next steps. So, uh, we'll get the information from you and then we'll follow up with you in one week with all the answers. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. After a few days, Virginia and Bree sat oh, down puppy. to find out who the real woman was in these photos. If we could figure out that, we could bring an end to this mess. So, Mike needs our help verifying his online girlfriend's identity. Okay. He's been talking to her for a few years now, mm -hmm. and he sends her money every day. Did he send any photos or information? Yeah, I actually have a picture of her that maybe we can run a reverse image search on. Okay. Check this out. Wow, look at all these profiles of her. This is a lot. Damn, she's popular. There's a lot of dudes pretending to be you, sweetheart. Way to go. Wow. It's going to be pretty difficult to sift through all these different profiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look what I found. An article 
that says cyber criminals target military online to set up imposter romance scams. And it has our Instagram handle right here. Yep. Let's look her up. Yeah. Let's. It looks like that page might have been deactivated. Yeah, but look, there's so many fake profiles of her. I know, but none of her official page, huh? Um, I found a picture of her and what looks like to be maybe her boyfriend or husband or something. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe we just run a uh -oh. reverse image search on him. Okay. Teresa Crowd, buddy. I don't think you were prepared for this kind of commitment. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Friends list and see if we can find her. Okay. I found his Facebook profile. It looks like he's tagged. Oh, shit. Look at that guy. Damn, you're gonna have to fight him, buddy. She's getting bare back by Batista. Good luck. During a picture. And I was able to find her Instagram profile using that same name. Hmm. Look at this. No wonder we can't find her. Different last name. Mm -hmm. They're married now. Gotcha, that's where we can find her originally. Yeah. Okay, so now we know that Mike's girlfriend is complete fake. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm wondering where his money's going to. So I have his number up here where he's been sending money. Um, and I can run a search and see where the funds led to. And how does this Bitcoin tracking work? So, depending on how much he sent, I'll follow the funds. Um, follow most the likely, it'll end in an exchange where these scammers are exchanging out the funds and cashing out the money. So, check it out. I don't really get involved in that whole crypto crap, but a lot of YouTube scammers and stuff that do, man, it's insane. It looks like his funds moved twice and then they went to this exchange. I recognize that exchange. Yeah. Sadly, Mike has not only been talking to a fake profile using someone else's images, but he's been sending money to a popular exchange that we often see in romance scams. I think the lie. Is it psychotic if one time I kind of pretended to be who they said they accidentally messaged and when they asked for a picture, just send them a random D-pick off Google? It was pretty funny to me, but it's probably a little psychotic that I did that. And at the end of the tunnel is that he gets clarity mm -hmm. and now he can move on from his scammer. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you that. so much. It was now time there. to sit down with Mike and go over everything that we had found. Hey, uh, Mike, how's it going? Um, it's okay. I was just had this on my mind all day. I bet. I have no doubt. Yeah. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Did you send her money? Yeah. Since we last... And right, he did. You knew he was going to. There was no talking him out of it. Spoke? Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we talked about it, but we have a lot of information for you today. We do. Okay. Starting with the fact that she's in Afghanistan. So we pulled troops out of Afghanistan in 2021. That's what I was saying. Right. Did you guys ever speak about that? Yep. And what did she say? She said there, there's a few troops left there. And that's why she was they would be in big trouble if that was true because we did not get out of there clean and it was probably one of the biggest screw-ups of the current, like, president or whatever, yep. Deployed there? Fight me yeah. in the comments. Yeah, that's her calling me now. Let me get rid of her. If, Mike, yeah. put the phone down and then let's, let us give you this information this is, I promise you, this is way more important than, than, you know, letting her know where you are. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, so I mean. Bro, he's not. He cannot get away. He's that infatuated with this woman that even though they are trying to tell him it's a scam, he is so obsessed with, like, sending the message back so she doesn't get, like, mad at him or something. To Just to kind of go back, Mike. Uh-huh. Like I said, there's just no way she could be deployed in Afghanistan because we pulled troops out in 2021. This what are you sad. thinking with, with that information? Uh, I knew that, I, that, you know, it brought, uh, uh, it brought, I'm just telling her, okay. She'll, she'll understand. Okay. Um, I, it brought doubts. It brought doubts to me. Isn't that the reason why you, you sent all you know, every time you sent her yeah. money, it's because of that, right?
You got doubts? No dollars. That should have been easy to figure out, my man. Come. No. I send her money because of what we have. I don't send it to her because of that. I send it to her because I, that's what I want to do. Don't buy it. He wants to play Stinky Twinky. That's it. That's why I send her money. We took a look at your chats and one thing that really stood out mike is like every time you guys chatted you would like literally pour your heart out to her right yeah yeah but her responses were very vague it was just like okay baby thanks honey you know yes. just very very vague responses she never oh oh i just complimented the oh. when you they get vague like that you're in trouble buddy responded back and it was just really about money okay was that a red flag to you i mean as you guys were chatting i mean was that frustrating to just be giving somebody your heart and then not hearing no. anything back from them because i had begun we, we we've talked so much i began to just trust that but mike she's she's sending you three letters every single time i it, know all that so let's get hey all he wanted to hear was yes apparently let's get into the rest so you sent money through cash app every single time i sent her to cash app and she used the bitcoin so the wallet you gave us actually had money deposited two days ago i sent her money okay and that was cryptocurrency and so there yeah. were 153 transactions that went in there and all those transactions ended up in a binance wallet and they also ended up in a wazirix wallet i know the amount if it's crypto, just get out of it already. Because obviously no one's just going to ask you for crypto if you're dating. You're just going to say, send me some cash. How should I send her? So, Wazirix is an Indian cryptocurrency exchange. Oh, okay. India, not Nigeria. So, if you're not in India, there really is no reason for you to use an Indian cryptocurrency exchange. So, what you're saying is that she uh, is in India? Either she's in India or the person she's sending money to, to wash the money is in India. Oh. Okay. Our team, we ran a reverse image search and we were okay. able to locate the real person in these images. Okay. And her name's not Mary. Okay. Uh. Her name is Sherry and she's happily married. And she's also lives in Missouri. She's not in Afghanistan. Hey, Sherry's kind of close to Mary. Somebody was not very creative with that one. She's not deployed on a on sweet a Sherry. Mission. Her username is Sweet Sherry Pie. No wonder somebody took this and tried to use this as like wiener fuel bait. Like, come on, dude. Is she is she the person on the picture? She's the person in the pictures. She's married. She's married. But she hasn't been talking to you, Mike. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want him to cry. We're gonna bring the real woman in these images onto the call with us, okay? Okay. You're gonna be able to speak to her face to face. Okay. Mike was so deep in love with Mary, we knew we had to get the real woman in front of him to get him to fully come to terms. He was about to come face to face with the woman he thought he was in a relationship with for But that's got to be kind of tough cuz then you have to so you have to see them and have all these like weird feelings that you felt because you fell in love with some dude wherever. But then you have weird feelings and then then you just got to feel pissed cuz you lost all that money. Nearly 3 years. Hi, how are you? Hey sweet Sherry Pot. I'm not doing too good. <laughs> No. I'm, not doing, I... man, I'm not doing too good at all. So Sherry, we just um, revealed to Mike that he's not talking to you. And so we wanted to bring you on so that you could talk to him and explain your situation because this is not the first time this has happened to you. I, I, I'm just um, looking at Sherry and, oh wow, Sherry. Yeah, it's...
It would have been so much better if her husband was sitting there too, because that really would have made him think, uh-oh, eject, like, get the hell out of here. I mean, it's really unfortunate, honestly, to, because I mean, unfortunately, you're not the, the first person that I've, I've found out about this. Um, but it's, it's sad, honestly, it's sad to see innocent, good people getting scammed. You know, there's there's just bad people out there, and I hate to see that, you know, affecting people like yourself. And so it's heartbreaking to see the side of it. Scammers are scumbags. I hate them all. Like, I'll, I'll joke about actually doing it. My conscience would never allow it. I can't believe there are people out there that would take advantage of someone down to their last dollar. But then again, I can, because the world can be a mean place. With Sherry, you know, um... I'm glad I'm getting a chance to see you. I understand. Um, it's uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's and it's over, you guys. It's it's over. I'm gonna move on. I'm, I'm, I'm uh what if, what what if he just calls janet after this and things really weren't that bad and he wants to get back together because i could totally see him doing that probably i'm gonna move on yeah i think that's i mean that's probably best just for yourself and for you know yeah we ran some searches on your profiles you have thousands of them all over the internet how is it dealing with this on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, Thousands? it kind of goes um, back and forth. I get a lot of messages from people usually um, either on one side of the spectrum that are, you know, hey, I'm sorry you're dealing with this. Just so you know, these profiles are out there. And of course, I'm aware of those. Um, and then the other side is where I've gotten messages saying, hey, like, I've sent this person this much money and they feel like I owe them something, you know, and that's all. Oh, no, F that. You don't owe anybody anything. You're the one that's... Because imagine if these guys took it that serious and then somehow found out where she was, Missouri or whatever. If I was her husband, I would be extremely weirded out that there was a thousand profiles of guys going to friggin' like Jurgen's jail in their bedrooms every night looking at my wife. I, I would not like that crap. The hard ones. I just kind of, at no. this point, you know, this, I've, I've been dealing with it since about... 2017 is I want to say when my Instagram stuff started picking up. Um, since then, I I just have kind of shut down from it. I tried my best to create awareness on my page, you know, putting out stories like PSAs, basically just saying, hey, like this isn't this is false. I mean, that's all you can do. But the people obviously don't know your original page, or they wouldn't be fallen in love with whoever wherever that is pretending to beat you aware of this you know x y and z but at this point it's sort of i've i've pulled away from social media um i don't really use it as much i'm not active on there anymore it feels like if i post photos then i'm basically just giving ammo to these scammers yeah, mike i know this is that's not really fair. If you enjoyed social media, it's not your fault. Like, you can't consider it you giving them ammo because they're going to do it regardless with a different woman, whatever. Just post your pics, live your life. If these men fall for it, tough luck, Chuck. Like, and that, it is what it is. It's, like, extremely emotional for you. Speaking to someone for, you know, all these years and then seeing this person, it has to feel surreal. I'm a pretty strong person. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been... I've been duped. Let's put it that way. For sure. It's only money to me. Um, I've been duped. And I heard I hope that the karma that's the karma that's about to come to these people, because it will come. You know, I'm a very spiritual person. And what's happened to me, I gave from the bottom of my heart every day, uh, thinking that this was something that we're gonna build on. Um, I really hope. I mean, I believe in karma too. There's a reason I drove half an hour back to the store because they gave me a, like an extra $10 change by accident. Like I ain't getting that bad karma. I don't need it. I've done enough bad crap in my life. Hope that, you know, things get better for you. I'm so sorry that you had to go through this. It's um, okay. I'm, it's I'm okay. glad that, you know, I was able to be here and give you some closure, hopefully, and help you move on. You know, there's good people out there and, you know, okay. don't stop trying and it's going to get better. And there are. Really
be the best. You take care of yourself. You're always in my, I mean, look, you take care of yourself. Okay. okay? Uh-oh, he might have just found out what her Instagram page was. He's going to get way better pictures than he got from whatever that guy was. I will. Right, I'm glad I got a chance to, to truly meet you. I'm glad. Okay. Yes, I am too. I mean, yeah, I wish you, I wish you the best, and thank you all for what you guys do. Very kind. Thank you so much, Sherry. Of course. All right. Thank you. See you. She seems Bye. sweet, though. Okay. She's nice. Wow, you guys. Okay, I can deal oh. with it. So There's our whole. We name. have one more thing that we want to reveal. So mm -hmm. we did an IP tracker, and so with the Ooh. IP tracker, we took a link. We have a website called fugiftcards.com, and we that. sent that link. Well, when the person clicks on the link and they come to our website, we can actually track their location. The person that clicked on the link is from Lagos, Nigeria. Of course, don't all these romance scams like originate typically from Lago, like Lagos, Lag however you say it. Typically, they come from that area. That's why I was making all them jokes about it being like somebody over there because I just assumed that's where it was. Okay. They're Nigerian. So they're most likely Nigerian. Okay. You don't know what you guys just did for me. It means you a lot. Guys just did, you guys just did. You guys don't know what you just did for me. Yes, they do. I mean, you guys just completed my world. I mean, you just, you did something for me. I really thank you guys because I, I know now. They're nice guys. I've been hacked and it's okay. I can move on. All right, well, there's the nice people over at Catfish saving this guy. But at least he blocked her, did all that. But I don't know. Is there any more to this? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, looks like that was it. So, all right, another guy who was kind of, I guess, lonely or sad in his relationship he was in, sleeping in different bedrooms, all that. But sometimes, man, the grass ain't always greener. So be careful with what you do. Be careful with meeting anyone online. Specifically, if you can't talk to them or see them in person, whatever, because I know everybody kind of dates on the internet nowadays, but I don't know. It's a sad case because I hate to see people get scammed, but at the same time, like, if you don't see the signs you're getting scammed, it's, I don't want to say you should know better, but I mean, it is what it is, man. Be careful. Don't send people money you haven't met in person is, would, would be the best piece of advice for this, but I mean, that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, check out the people over at Scamfish. They seem pretty damn awesome to me, but uh, alright guys, I'll see y'all. Bye!